Hey guys, what's up, Dags here. We are back with more MotoGP 2016. Today we're here with the Jerez Grand Prix, and I'm pretty excited for this one because even though it's not my favorite track, it's not one that I've done very well at in the past, you know, that last race, I thought was pretty decent, and I think we can improve thanks to that last race. Obviously, the AI in the wet conditions aren't too fast, so I feel, you know, it was maybe a few free points for me, the fact that the AI weren't that good, but... In this race, it's obviously dry conditions, but just hopefully we can carry the momentum forward and have a bit more of a race here than normal, where we don't generally have great results. But you know, as soon as we get to the midfield, we're battling with the other sort of bikes in our area, which are the Suzuki's, which you can see in front. We've got Vinales, maybe it's the Tech Three bikes, the my teammates obviously in the other Ducatis. You know, whatever bike Redding's on, I know he's sort of that sort of speed of bike. Obviously, we're a little bit faster, but track to track depend you know it depends a lot on how fast your bike is so you can see just in front here bradley smith we've been battling with him actually the last couple of races so to see him just in front once again it's kind of funny but bradley uh not stephen bridle sorry is the next person in front of me right now and starting at the back of the grid obviously adds that extra little bit of pressure to actually get those overtakes done a lot quicker when you start sort of towards the front of the field there's not as much pressure to get those overtakes done as soon as you catch up to someone but in this yeah it's straight away you've got to overtake them otherwise there's like you know you're going to not finish up that well so Prado didn't have a very good run through there actually on the brakes hopefully we'll get him into the last corner a little bit of contact but Miller's got a really good line through there and I've been pushed about I've been pushed all over the place and I've been dropped to last place Maybe getting a bit, the AI getting a bit of payback on me there. Obviously, I push them about a little bit. Sometimes when I go for overtakes, they do the same to me. And Miller just did that to me, basically. <laughs> well, not sorry, not Miller. Who, I don't know who it was now. Somebody pushed me around. Anyway, we can still just learn from the AI a bit here. Still a chance at points, so let's not worry just yet. Rabat seems to always be in last place, so hopefully we can get past him. Who's in front of him? Looks like Baz. It looks like a short name. Right, let's get. We took a very weird line through here, but hopefully we can get a nicer run out of it because of it. No, we don't. On the brakes, we should be a little bit better than the other AI. Obviously, AI in front, obviously on worse bikes, but doesn't mean that they'll particularly be that much later on or earlier on the brakes. Uh, I just need to get out of the way of these tracks. I don't enjoy. I, th I was pretty hyped after that last race where we had a decent race I thought but this one sort of brings me back down to reality a bit like it's definitely track dependent on how good I am Qatar is definitely my worst track I know that a, you know the next two tracks coming up hopefully will be good for me Le Mans I, I honestly feel I've got a chance of a victory even though I'm starting last I feel I've got a chance of a victory and that, that would be very key to me getting up the standings a little bit obviously the videos I won that last race so I need to, if I want to try and start beating him in the championship, I'm going to really have to up my form a bit here. Obviously, I need to start beating them, but in reality, I'm not really that close to any of them at the moment. I'm very far behind, let's just say that. Into turn one. We have, we have caught them. So we've got the pace over the back three, I'd say, definitely. And Rabat slow out of the corner, so we should get past him. But then, I don't know. Honestly, showing starting at the back of the grid sometimes isn't that much different to where I'd start normally because my qualifying is generally pretty rubbish. <laughs> Not that my race pace has been particularly much better in this series, but yeah. If you watched the second half of the last season, obviously I I didn't perform that well. I think I might have got one victory down the line, but sort of more to more of that to be expected. Especially if we're on a worse bike now sort of expected maybe that I'm not going to be regular con you know, podium contender and race winner like I was at the start of last year on the easier difficulty but on the hardest difficulty in this game I'm pretty surprised like there must be people like at least three seconds a lap faster than me and you know there's not a difficulty level for them I still feel there should be an extra difficulty level for people that are even better than me not I'm sorry that, that makes it sound like I think I'm good I'm not good at the game but you know on certain tracks I can still win by a mile on this difficulty. So we'll see how that all plays out. The difficulty towards the whole or the rest of the season. But I'm just looking forward to getting this race over and done with because let's be honest, this hasn't been a good race, but the pace hasn't been there, so 
Let's just do, try and do a cheeky move on Bautista. Can we get a nice run out of this last corner to do so? No, we can't. So, very up and down so far this season. Only one points finish, which was the last race, but I don't know what it is. I know obviously it's my riding, but I, just, I don't know how I can gain that much time. Look, 138, what are my teammates doing? You know, and they 136. So it's like 1.6 seconds there. I don't know where I'm losing that. So it's tough, but I'm sure we'll get better as the season goes on, guys. Thanks for watching and understanding, obviously. It's been Axe Maddie. Goodbye.